welcome back to the channel so first of all what you have to do is just simply come on the task number one open this link in the incognito window okay now here just copy your username paste the username then copy your password and paste over here this lab is very simple just pay the attention you won't face any issue for sure okay now just wait and we just click on this blank option now from here just click on data then click on data connector and choose a connect to BigQuery click on get connect now here you have to choose your project ID if you can't find your project ID just restart your lab and do the same thing just click over here then click on this public data set now what you have to do just copy this data set name paste over here and choose that then copy this table name make sure you do not copy that full stop and paste over here and click on that and just simply click on connect it will take a couple of seconds to connect the data so just wait click on this cross now please pay attention guys do not worry about these two formulas i will share both the formula in description box from there you can just copy those now what you have to do we have to use the formula please pay attention okay click on this function option and from here you have to choose count if let me just zoom in for you you can see count if just simply click over here and then choose new sheet and just simply click on create you will get one already created formula now just replace that formula with this formula task 2 formula just copy this remove that and paste your formula just hit enter it's loading now and if you just hover over here you will get the option to apply just simply click on apply it will take a couple of seconds and every time you will get the output zero once you get got a output zero just go back to your lab instructions and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now here we have to create charts so just go back to your main data sheet click on these charts and from here again choose new sheet and click on create now here please pay attention on the setup thing first of all as a chart type you have to choose pie chart okay click over here now for the label you have to just simply choose payment type payment type okay and now for the value you have to just simply choose for the amount fair amount this thing okay just make sure both the columns look like this pie chart payment type and fair amount just make sure of this thing just simply click on apply wait for a couple of seconds and it's done do not worry about the color color changes every time okay once just make sure of these three things okay if it's looking same just go back to your lab instruction and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number four we have to extract data again go back to your main sheet then click on this extract option then again create new sheet now please pay attention because on this task many of you guys are going to face the issue because this task is li little bit tricky first of all click on this edit option and from here choose the select individual column now just select all these four columns so just copy this first column paste over here and just simply click on that name so it's added over here as you can see now just copy the second column replace the name over here and just simply click on that name it's added over here then do the same thing over here copy that paste over here click on the name it's done now copy the fourth and done okay all four column is added over here just simply click over here now here please pay attention okay in sort just simply click on this add option and here just simply search for the trip okay once you simply search for the trip you will get trip distance click over here and please pay attention because i know most of you guys are going to make the mistake in trip distance just make this to descending order i will tell you the explanation about this just click over here it's convert to distance so just make sure of this thing you have to do that otherwise you won't get a score now for the row limit just choose a 10,000 okay just make sure everything is look like this make sure of this uh, descending order now just simply click on apply now let me just explain the reason behind it if you just read this point order by longest trip first okay so if you just see over here trip distance first is 3 lakh 89 thousand and second is 3 lakh 57 thousand so it's going to 
decreasing order and that's the reason we have to choose the decreasing option now just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now for the task number five it's very easy just go back to your notepad copy this formula go back to your your main sheet then click on this calculate column give it the name for the column as like i am giving quick lab and paste the formula over here it's done click on add wait for a second it's added over here and here you can see apply option just simply click on this apply it will take a couple of seconds and all the data data is going to be zero it's done no need to worry about this thing just go back to your lab instruction and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day